Hey everyone, it's Taylor with Pocket Now, and we're here at CES in Las Vegas with Eric Majakovsky of Pebble, and he's going to show us the brand new, new yeah, Pebble the new Steel. Pebbles, Pebble Steel with uh, some new apps and some new functionality. So yeah, let's get to it. So watch faces look great on Pebble. I mean, on Pebble Steel, it's. Uh, it's very cool. So, um, oh, one thing we're adding with the new firmware is a notifications app. So you can now see a list of recently received notifications around your wrist um, instead of having them dismissed after you uh, dismiss them. Let's show off the Yelp app. So Yelp is a partner of ours. We've been working with them to look for a little while to make a Pebble local app. So this is an app that shows you what's around you. Since Pebble doesn't have a GPS on the watch, it actually leverages the GPS on the phone. They also built a pretty cool feature where if you flick your wrist, it actually shows uh, basically like a random recommendation for a restaurant to try out. This is called Cut and it has four stars and it's 0.2 miles away. You can even get reviews on your wrist from Yelp. As you can see, it seems like a good steakhouse, four or five stars. Um, yeah, so the Yelp app just provides like recommendations. It's kind of, in the, it, the idea is that the, wa the watch app is not meant to replace the smartphone app, it complements it. So for this, it's about quick, just-in-time recommendations. Um, the ESPN app, so we partnered with ESPN, ESPN's API. So you can quickly glance down and see uh, see what's going on. So you can see we're tracking the NBA right now. Um, you can see the games that are ongoing. Toronto is losing. Too bad. Um, oh, that's final. Yeah. <laughs> You can also see, you, you can change sports pretty easily, so now let's track some NFL. Uh, Kansas City, who's playing now? Is everyone done? Yeah, they're all done. But like during games, you can get real-time updates right there. Um, so real-time update on the watch? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, literally, every five minutes it grabs the latest score. It's great because it's just a glanceable screen. You don't have to do anything, it's just always there. When there is an update, like an injury or something happening during the game, it'll actually push a notification to your watch and, you, and you'll get a vibration. That's the ESPN app. Uh, the Pandora app is interesting. Um, oh, it's an ad. <laughs> so the Pandora app, when it is not playing ads, allows you to upvote or downvote songs, and you can even, even change stations by uh, changing stations right from your wrist, which is pretty cool. The idea is that. The idea here is that if you're playing Pandora from like a speaker dock or with your headphones in, you can still get the benefit of the rating system right on your wrist. Let's, let's check out the uh, Foursquare app. For, so with Foursquare, they built um, a super simple check-in app. Like the goal here is just to get in and get out. So it's a one-button check-in app. So it, let's see, the GPS thinks we're at Bouchon, but no, we're at the Venetian. So if you just press one button, you're checked in. And it's kind of like, you know, on, the, on your phone, there's a, there's a Foursquare app, and it has all kinds of different features. But on your watch, you want to focus on the one thing that matters. If you really want, you can just, like, grab your phone and, and roll into the, uh, the Foursquare app. But, um, but on your watch, it's just a check-in, a simple check-in. Yeah, so that's a few apps on, uh, on Pebble Steel. Well, thank you. And uh, stay tuned for more coverage at CES and more from Pebble. Uh, tomorrow morning or when you see this it should be going live around then <laughs> so stay tuned for more from pocket now i'm taylor martin and i'll see you next time thanks